Hi, on your next right page, go ahead and title your notes, 2.6 Multiplication and Division Properties. Your essential question is, how can I apply the multiplication and division properties of segments and angles to prove multiples or divisions are congruent? Okay, our first theorem says that if segments or angles, this can apply to either segments or angles, are congruent, then their like multiples are congruent. And by multiples, we mean, for example, doubles, triples, etc. Okay, let's take a look at this example. I'm given two line segments, AD and EH. And if you look at the pictures, we know some things. Um, segment AB is congruent to EF. We can see that because of the little tick marks, okay? It also says that B, C, F, and G are trisection points. So on A, D, because B, C are trisection points, now we know that the three smaller segments are also congruent to segment A, B. And the same thing is true for the other segment. Because F and G are trisection points, we know now that the three smaller segments are all congruent, which means they're congruent to EF. Well, since the first three segments are congruent and the last three segments are congruent, and we know that AB is congruent to EF, we can say that the whole first segment, AD, is congruent to the whole second segment, EH, because of this theorem. The theorem says that their like multiples are congruent. So in this case, we're talking about their triples. Since A, B, and E, F are congruent, their triples, which would be A, D, and E, H, are also congruent. Remember, we can also state that the length between A and D is equal to the length between E and H. And here's another example using angles to demonstrate this theorem. Um, we have two angles, and it looks like angle ABC is congruent to angle EFG because of those arcs. We also know from the given that ray BC and ray FG are both bisectors. Well, because they're bisectors, we also know that this angle and this angle are congruent. We also know that this angle and this angle are congruent. So because of our theorem, it also says that multiples are congruent. So multiples of angle ABC and multiples of angle EFG are congruent. The multiples would be angle ABD is congruent to this multiple or this double, angle EFH. We could also say that their measures are equal. So we could say the measure of angle ABD is equal to the measure of angle EFH. The second theorem in the set of notes is kind of similar to the other one. The other one we started with smaller angles being congruent and then proving that their multiples or a bigger angle, the bigger angles are congruent. This one says kind of the opposite. We start off with a larger angle or segment um, and we know that they're congruent. We can now say that their divisions or their smaller parts, either halves or thirds, are also congruent. So let's look at some examples. Sorry, there will be no examples for these. <laughs> so go ahead and write your summary for this set of notes and then flip to the next right page and we're going to start 2.7 notes.